I was freaking out a little bit ago, but I am calm now. Okay, look at the title of that post. The Jerusalem Post. Iran sees ties with Russia as new Middle East. This was posted six days ago. Okay. The Iranian president met with Vladimir Putin on January 19th, a visit that has now become a political turning point and an economic and trade relations between Iran and Russia. Look at that. Moscow has backed Tehran at the Vienna nuclear talks with the West. That came last year. All right. Iran is calling this the new Middle East and believes that the Russian-Iran role in Syria could be an example of this new Middle East. What does this remind you of? Oh yeah, Ezekiel, Prophet Ezekiel, chapter 38 and 39, talks about Israel being attacked by Iran and Russia and Turkey and all of those guys. I get this, okay? Currently Russia is putting herself up against the Allied nations. All right, it's like she's forming another axis again. Iran is partnering with that. Turkey is partnering with that. Afghanistan is partnering with that because Afghanistan's partnering with China and China's partnering with Russia. So they are all forming up. And where does Israel stand with all of this? Right now, Russia and Israel are on okay terms. Like Russia flies their planes on the border all the time. They've got soldiers on the border. Okay, they're good, they're good terms. But who is Israel backed by? the United States. So if relations deteriorate significantly enough between Russia and the allied nations, which is what I'm going to call it right now, they straight up to Israel. Mm -hmm. It is prophecy unfolding. I've been, we've been watching this. If you've been on this channel for a while, any period of time, or even watching Bailey stuff, you've been seeing Amir Safadi. Go follow him on Telegram, Instagram, all the grams, whatever. Um, he's posting the updates of everything that's happening right now, and it's crazy. So we know this is about to go down. Keep your eyes peeled. Don't be stressed, though. There is supposed to be no spirit of fear that takes hold in the body of Christ. Why? Because we have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, indwelling us. He doesn't cause fear. He gives us supernatural peace. So if you're feeling nervous about these things, trust in the Lord God has this entirely in control and he, he knows the future so much so that he told us about it thousands of years ago, a couple thousand years back. That was when the prophecies from Ezekiel were written. God knows he's going to be able to take care of you just as much as he can take care of this world. Anyway, if you don't know Jesus, get to know him. Now's the perfect time. Uh, I've got links in my bio to help you receive Jesus as your savior. Love you guys.